Hi, I'm Allie. Welcome to my yoga channel and welcome to the yoga mat. Today's practice is a morning centric sequence. It is absolutely designed to bring you into your day with a feeling of focus, grounding, awareness, and appreciation for the opportunity that lies ahead. This is a short practice and I'm not recommending any props except those that you feel you need. This is absolutely beginner friendly. And I want you to know if you're new to me, new to my channel and new to the Journey Junkie community, there are a plethora of resources in the description below, like a week long morning yoga challenge. If that interests you, you can click that link and come join us. Otherwise you need yourself and your willingness to start the day with me. So unroll your mat and let's begin this morning yoga practice. Okay, to begin, please lie down on your back, which should feel really nice right in the morning. Take your feet as wide as the yoga mat and allow your knees to rest in towards one another. They don't need to touch. And then allow your hands to rest down by your sides, palm facing up, lengthen through the back of your neck. Inviting yourself to be here on the mat, embodying your body, this sacred structure, this sacred temple that holds all of who we are throughout this lifetime. So allowing yourself to enter within, feeling very grateful, very appreciative for this body that will take us throughout the day ahead. And taking a few breaths here to create that mind-body connection. Using your breath to send energy from the midline out to the periphery, the extremities, feeling the energy of your breath begin at the heart center, at the belly, and travel all the way to the toes, the fingertips, and the crown of the head. Noticing how you can really sense the breath moving through the body and noticing that the breath can be a tool throughout your day to come back to presence, focus on what matters, take aligned action and feel rooted and grounded versus distracted or fragmented. Allowing this practice to be the foundation for the day. An experience of wholeness. And walking the feet towards one another, bringing the knees into the chest and letting the knees splay out kind of wide here, rocking from side to side, massaging the low back. The back does so much for us throughout the day. So showing it some love, rocking back and forth. 
And slowly coming back to neutral stillness, let the right foot fall to the earth plane, keep the knee bent, interlace the hands behind the back of the left leg, and extend the left leg high to the sky, reach through the heel, and flex the toes back towards the face, lengthen the neck if you notice it's becoming compressed and shortened, and now bend the left knee and bring the heel back towards the ground. Inhale to extend, exhale to bend. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to soften. A few more times. Waking up the hamstrings. Sensing the power of our legs, the support they offer us throughout the day. And this next time when you lengthen, continue to lengthen and hold here and reach through the heel. Maybe bend the elbows and use the strength of your arms to bring the leg a little bit closer to the body. One more breath. And bend the knee, release the hands, set the left foot on the ground, extend the right leg up, clasp your hands behind the thigh. Again, lengthen through the neck, reach through the heel, send the toes towards the face, and bend the knee, bring the heel towards the earth plane. Continue moving like that, inhaling, reach high. Exhaling, flex and soften. Inhaling, reach. Exhaling, softening. Inhale. Slowly entering into our body, slowly connecting to our personal power through moving with our breath, through being super intentional. Last time, extend and lengthen and then stay here and reach through that heel and maybe bend the elbows, bring the leg a little bit closer towards the chest. Allowing any sighs to come out as you exhale and release the hand clasp, bend the knees, soften the right foot to the earth plane hands down by your sides, palms connecting to the mat here. And now bring your feet hip width distance if they aren't already. Knees are tractioning right over the toes and in line with the hips. We're gonna come into some fluid bridge poses. As we lift into bridge, look up here for a second. We're only coming to about meh, this high. No need to force it. So on an inhale breath, push into your whole foot, gently firm the core, lift up, and exhale, lower back down. You've got 10, make this a wave-like action, okay? Moving with your breath. Feeling the vertebra lift one by one and then lower one by one. Inhaling, sending the hips high. Exhaling, softening the hips down. Five more. Continuing to send the knees forward over the toes. Making sure the knees are staying hip width distance, not splaying out to the sides. Recruiting the backside of the legs and body to support us, to be the foundation. Last time, lift up. This time, hold here, three breaths. Sensing your strength. 
Sensing your ability to shape your day. Last breath. And lower all the way down. Nice. Take a moment, pause. One whole breath. Now bring the knees into the chest and we're gonna rock forward and back, okay? And we'll meet in a forward fold at the top of the mat. If rocking forward and back, and you can start really small, if rocking forward and back does not serve your spine, you'll come onto your side and push up to a seated posture and meet me in a forward fold that way. Otherwise, take your time, massage your back by rolling up and down. And when you feel ready, you'll meet me in a forward fold. The way I like to do that is bring my hands behind me, push off the earth, and then come down and relax my chest over my thighs here. Of course, it's the morning, and really any time I'm going to recommend a nice bend in the knees, a softening. You can cup both elbows, check in with your head and neck. Are you gripping? Can you release? Maybe holding both elbows doesn't feel good. You want to totally let your hands rest on the earth plane here or hang in midair. Maybe you rock forward and back, heels to toes, toes to heels. And maybe you sway side to side. You choose what feels right for you, but relax the jaw. Shake the head yes and no. Already sensing this aliveness, this awakening, intention pulsing through the body. And we're gonna roll up to standing. So heel toe the feet a little bit closer, hip width distance, maybe even narrower. Again, relax head and neck, bend the knees, hug the navel in just a bit, and begin to roll the body up. Roll the body, stacking each vertebra as you arrive in a standing posture. Head and neck come last on this journey. And arrive in standing pose and take the feet out wider than hip width distance. We're gonna stand here in a power pose to finish our practice together. So you can imagine this power pose is something you can return to throughout your day if you're feeling like you've lost your connection to your personal power, right? You need to come back into your midline back to your core. So finding a comfortable stance with the feet, mine are definitely wider than hip width distance, and then using the foundation of the earth and drawing it up through the legs to firm the legs, kneecaps gently lift, and then bring the hands to rest here at the waist and face directly forward. Here, as you gaze forward, we're going to stand here for three minutes. I want you to visualize your day unfolding, unfolding with purpose, with power, with intention, with focus, with loving kindness and compassion. Visualize your whole day happening and feel free to keep eyes opened or closed here. Just imagining yourself moving through the motions but moving through them with intention and awareness and a true appreciation for the opportunity that the day brings. You can enliven your breath like I am and actually hear the inhale and exhale or keep it more passive, whatever feels good for you and powerful for you. We've got two more minutes.
If your mind is wandering, please bring it back. Use your breath to anchor your awareness in this power pose. This pose that is designed to support the day, the day that lies ahead, the day that's full of opportunity, the day that is full of purpose and fun and feeling and connecting, speaking and creating and expressing, seeing and imagining and dreaming. Using your breath to stay here, be present. Almost there. Stay rooted. Be here. Final inhale. Bring hands to heart center. And just hold here for one moment, eyes closed. I have a short reading to share with you. A true master follows her own footprints encoded within her before arriving in this incarnation. Someone else may remind her, someone else may empower her, but no one else can possibly know the unique contours of her own true path. Since you are the only one living in your temple, only you know its scriptures and interpretive structure. The next step is right there inside you, divinely imprinted on the soles of your feet. And with that message, let's close this morning practice with an OM together. Inhale to prepare. My right to have a purposeful, powerful day sees, honors, and respects your right to have that same day. You can bring hands up towards the forehead, gently bowing and lifting the gaze. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel so empowered and empowered to step off your mat and really have an incredible day ahead of you. Remember, if you're new to our community, there are so many resources to support you. Use that description section of this video below. There's a free week-long morning yoga challenge that you can dive into, as well as other resources too. I'll meet you back here. Have a really awesome day ahead of you.